Okay. okay. Can you hear me? Can you see the screen? And can you hear me? Yes. Okay. You can hear me. You can see the screen. Okay. Right. How many students? Two more? Two more not, not back yet. Uh, Ganga and who else not back? Ganga and what is the name? Eh? Lo, Ganga and Loga, Loga Dashini. Ganga and Loga Dashini. Okay. Uh, why are they not back yet? Okay, right. So you can see this, huh? Hmm. Okay, good. So uh, never mind. The other two more, two more girls. Ganga coming. Okay, just wait for her, huh? Ganga. Ganga, just wait for her. Okay, Ganga is back. Uh, okay, the next problem. Okay, the next problem is like this. We have we have a quadrilateral. This quadrilateral is A B C D. Okay, this quadrilateral is A B C D. Ah, it's like this. Okay, A B C D, and this is supposed to be a plot of land. Okay, a plot of land. And this plot of land, it has a path across the, the plot of land from B to D. Okay, there's a straight line cutting across the plot of land from B to D. And uh, this is the path, a path inside a garden. Then they want to build another path uh, from A to this line. Can you see that there's a point and a line again? Uh, it's something like our shortest distance, right? Hmm. Okay, so I read the question. Science class members built a reflexology path BD and they want to build another straight reflexology path to join point A to path BD. Point A to path BD. Point A to path BD. Hmm. Okay. At point M. So that means this A joined to BD at a point called M. And the coordinate of M is 2H H. Okay. The, the coordinate is 2H H. And also this distance, we don't know whether it's a perpendicular distance or not. Not, we don't know. Okay, and this distance is square root of 32. Okay, this distance is square root of 32. So the first question, find the values of H and K. Find the values of H and K. Okay, right. So uh, you are given the coordinates of uh, A, B, uh, D, and you are asked to find and also M. You are given the coordinates of A, B, D and M. So the coordinates of these four points they are given. And the question is, uh, what is the value of uh, H? What is the value of K? Right? Okay. Okay. So now uh, you look at the given coordinates. The given coordinates A, 5, 6. So this point five six, and m, the coordinates are h and two h. So if you know the coordinates of these two points, can you find the distance between them? So they tell you the distance am is square root of thirty two. We use the distance formula. What? 
square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square the formula for the distance and you equate this unknown distance with the given distance here so this unknown distance using these two coordinates a and m you find this distance and you equate it with the given distance okay so i expand square both sides of the equation i come i have two answers okay h is 5 and 4 or 5 and the other value of h is 1 so if the the value of h is 1 that means the coordinate is 1 2 now if you look at the diagram here the furthest they can go is the furthest point is b and the x coordinate of b is 3 so m being inside the quadrilateral should have a smaller value than 3 okay or not should have a smaller value than 3 because the m is inside inside this quadrilateral here and the furthest further away is 3 so your m is inside it should be less than 3 so h must be less than 3 so this value this other value h equals to 5 and 4 or 5 you cannot use if 5 and 4 or 5 is outside the, the the quadrilateral here so it cannot be m anymore so can you understand why i reject this value and accept the value h equals to 1 yes or no so far okay no? can you understand why i i reject the the value yes huh so because this five is outside the quadrilateral one is inside the quadrilateral so uh, using this value of h equals to one i substitute inside the coordinates of m and i know the coordinates of m now is one two one two okay or not okay fine okay so uh, this one should be okay then the next part if we have found the value of h ah okay thank you okay mm. now we have found the value of one uh, h equals to one how to find the coordinate of this here the k here okay eh? the value the, the, the coordinates of the negative 2 k how to find how to find so i know that the m is on this line i look look at the diagram here m is on the line uh, bd is on the line bd so the gradient uh, these three points they are on the same straight line d m and b they are on the same straight line now if they are on the same straight line then the gradient of dm and the gradient of mb they should be the same they are on the same straight line so gradient and gradient must be the same okay or not okay okay size it okay so if it's okay then i continue the gradient of dm d m so the coordinate of d is this one the coordinate of m is this one so i use k minus 2 over negative 2 minus 1 so this is the gradient of dm mb pula mb this is this is m huh? m 2 minus 0 1 minus 3 this is the gradient of mb since they are on the same straight line the gradient must be the same i equate them solve the equation k equals to 5 is this okay hmm. so you equate the gradient of the two points the gradient of the two points and with the other two points then you get the value of k can or not okay 
Ah, can understand. Ganga can understand. So I proceed. I I need to ask you, okay or not? Because not because I'm afraid you don't know. I'm afraid that I sometimes I may make very stupid mistake like just now I type the formula wrongly. Type then people get confused. Okay, not so. If you give me feedback like that, you say okay, then I know uh it's okay, right? Or maybe Liu Ying or Ganga or 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 Shamimi will tell me ask me some questions. Then I realize that I have typed something wrong on the screen. So I make questions. So it's important that you tell me, you know, not if you, I I just talk 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 and I just <laughs> make mistake and careless mistake that I I don't know, right? Okay, it's important that you give me the feedback. Okay, right. Uh, now the next part. The next part is after finding H and K, determine whether M is the shortest distance from A to B D. So now we come back to this diagram here from A to this line BD. This AM is it the shortest distance? Now can anyone remember what is the characteristic of the shortest distance? Anyone can remember the characteristic of the shortest distance that I've uh, explained to you here? The characteristic of the shortest distance. Uh, you tell me that I know. Oh yes, somebody understand. Then I will go on. Yes, perpendicular. It has to be perpendicular. Right? So it has to be perpendicular. So how to determine whether they are perpendicular or not? How to determine whether this AM is perpendicular to BD or not? Okay. So we see here. I try to find the I try to find the gradient of AM. Where is AM? Mm, this one A, this is M. So I find the gradient of AM using the value here and the value of here. So yeah, so this is the one. The gradient is one. So the gradient of this dotted 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 line here is one. Now, which which other gradient I should find? I try to find either DB or no lah. DB cannot because I want to find. I want to prove that it's M. Ma. So I find MB. Okay, it's important that you use M. Don't don't use uh, uh, the other one. Right. I want to show M. So M, MB. So the gradient of MB, right? Again, M is what? M is two one. Uh, yeah, two one and three zero. Two one and three zero. So two minus zero, one minus three, and I found out the gradient to be negative one. One, the gradient is one. The other one, the gradient is negative one. I try to find the product of these two gradient. The product of these two gradient is negative one. Can you remember this in your coordinate geometry last year? Gradient negative one. The product of the gradient is negative one. What does that mean? It means that the two lines are perpendicular okay so therefore am is perpendicular to mb since am is perpendicular to uh, mb or bd also same huh? then am is the shortest distance between a and bd okay now so since it's perpendicular it must be the shortest distance uh, any question Any question? I I have proof that <clears throat> these two lines they are perpendicular. So perpendicular must be the shortest distance. Any question or not? Or, or maybe yeah, no, Farah said no. Okay, no means I assume that uh, probably uh, I, I didn't make any careless mistake. Okay, probably I didn't. Okay, now we look at <clears throat> The points will are all the all the four points. Now I want to find the area of this quadrilateral, which is also known as the science club garden. Okay, this science club garden. So using the four points, I uh, this one wrong already. Eh? I use only four. I have to I have to repeat the first one. So never mind. This one is wrong. Eh? Mm, I better delete off. This one is wrong. Hey. 
Okay, this is wrong. This is wrong. Hmm? Okay, so you use the formula, you arrange the four points and the last point you repeat. Okay, repeat the last point, then you try to cross, 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 and you get the answer. You, you, you know what I'm talking about or not? The cross, cross, cross. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I, I make a mistake there just now, so I delete off. Huh? So, do you know how to find or not? Do you know how to find? I, 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 do, I, do, I don't have the calculator and so on. This will take quite some time. Uh, okay, quite some time. Huh? Never mind. But do you know how to find the, the area using the, these four coordinates? Yes. Huh? So, uh, I, I'm not going to type the thing here because you, when I want to cross here, then I type on the screen, it will, be, it will take a very long time. So I leave this to you, right? You can try on your own. Okay. Uh, any question you would like to ask me regarding this question? Any question you would like to ask me regarding this? This what? What? Ayah. Hey, apa lah? Simply click, click, click. Okay. Right. Any question you would like to ask me? No, then I go on to the next question. Uh, no, ah, uh, no, no. Okay, so I go on to the next question. Okay, now oh, this again is the ambiguous case, right? This is the the ambiguous case, but they ask it in another way. It's ambiguous case, but they ask it in another way. Okay, right. So, this is quite difficult. Because, because they just give you the ratio, they didn't give you the uh, the length. Right, they just give you the ratio. Uh, right. Mm, start, huh? start. Now, you are given a triangle ABC. The ratio of AB to AC is 3 is to 1. This is AB. This is AC. So the ratio is 3 is to 1. And the length of BC is 30 cm. BC is 30 cm. Okay. Then nothing else is given. Okay. Find the length of AB. Find the length of AB. So uh, normally in solution of triangles, uh, they are all together 6. So you must give, be given at least three quantities. Two sides, one angle, or two angle, one side, then you can find. But in this case, you are given one angle and one side only. So what to do? Huh? What to do? Now, uh, the trick is here. AB is to AC is 3 is to 1. Right? So you are given another equation. So actually, you are given three things. You can find. Right? Find the length of AB. Right? Okay, show. Sure. First thing is this one. AB over AC is 3 is to 1. You are given uh, in this form. You change them into fraction form. So AB is actually 3 AC. AB is actually 3 AC. So now actually there is only one unknown. Instead of two unknown, there is only one unknown. Uh, you know the angle at the center. You know this. You, you cannot use the sine rule. Uh, can or not? Uh, because you, you don't know another angle. So you cannot use the sine rule. Right? So you use the cosine rule. Now cosine rule says that a square equals to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. So this is a square. a is the side opposite the angle a. So this is a square. A is how much? 30. Then B square and C square. This is this is the AB. AB is actually 3 AC. AB is actually 3 AC. And this is AC. This is AC. Then 2 minus 2 BC minus 2 BC cos A. 
minus 2bc cos a, right? Okay, minus 2bc, this is, uh, this is the side here, 3ac, and this one, ac, the, the, the top side and, the bottom, and this side, top and the bottom side, cos 60. So, actually in this whole equation, there's only one unknown, the unknown is ac. You don't involve the, the ab, ab, you write it as, 3ac okay ab you write it as 3ac ac you leave it as ac ab you write it as 3ac ac you write it as ac so actually there's only one unknown you can solve for the value of ac uh, is it very confusing if it's confusing you ask okay i wait for you here Apply the cosine rule. Any question? Difficult or not? Anything you don't understand? Anyone got question to ask? Anyone? Okay, so uh, this side is AB, this side is AC. So all this is uh, AB, AB, AC, AC. And two sides. Okay, so uh, actually this term is AC, 9 AC square. This is AC. Add together is 10 AC. This one, 6 AC square, cos 60 is half. Cancel, cancel, you have 3ac. So 10ac square minus 3ac square is 7ac square. Find the value of ac, 11.3389. So uh, this length, you know. So if you know this is 11.33, what is the other one? 11.33 times 3. This, this longer one is 3 times the shorter one. Okay, so you just take substitute inside here, take the 3 times the shorter one, you will get the longer one. The AC. Okay, so find the length of AB. Oh, I have to write down. Maybe I put one more here. AB equals to 3ac equals to 3 times 11.3389 equals to 34.0167 centimeter. Is that correct or not? Someone please check. Is that correct? Okay, so you have found this AB, this length here. The next one, angle C. This, this is the angle C. This angle C is the obtuse angle. Hmm? Angle C is obtuse angle. Uh, let me show you this one. Okay. Okay, right. Now, this angle C is the obtuse angle here. Right? Obtuse angle. Hmm. So now, I use the sine rule. I use the sine rule. Sin C over AB. This is sin C over AB. Right? Is equals to sin 60 over 30. This is sin 60 and this is 30. So sin 60 over sin 30. This formula here using the sine rule. Okay or not? Can follow?
okay ah correct ah so uh one more time can you check this one correct or not can you check this one correct or not okay ah right so uh after that uh, ab is this one 34 right so this is 34 this is root 302 this is 30 and you try to find the value of sine c then after finding the value of sine c you find the angle c you put shift sign but when you find the angle c you have only one angle you cannot get the obtuse angle but you have learned from your trigonometry your trigonometry have you started on trigonometry not yet because of the holiday then teacher also teacher also on leave right so maybe not yet but then from your knowledge of form 4 la, Puan Zarina's uh, mathematics when the sign is positive you can have two answers one in the first quadrant and another one in the second quadrant so uh, even though you know that c is a positive number you have to give two answers one acute angle and the other obtuse angle and obviously from here you can see that the c is not this angle but this angle so it's like your uh, ambiguous case like that this is your c the obtuse angle this is your c the acute angle but uh, it is not the green line it's not the green line it's the blue line okay or not hmm. then the next part you want to find the area after finding the angle c find the area of abc find the area of this abc this one right this abc here so abc is sine b uh, sine half bc sine a half b then this one is a c three times then sine we, we use this angle and these two sides we use this angle and these two sides look at the blue triangle look at the blue triangle this is 60 then you use this, this side multiply with this side that, that will give you the area of this blue triangle so in the end you get 167.08 hmm? you please please check and see uh, use your calculator you check and see whether it's correct or not So you look at this. Correct, then you tell me, then I carry on. Okay, not okay. Yeah. Huh? Oh, running out of time again. Ten minutes more. I <laughs> better complete this one. Okay. Now, uh, this area you have found half BC sine A. Then the next part is sketch the triangle ABC prime. So this is ABC. Ambiguous case A B C prime. This is the one here C prime. Hmm? So we have two different triangles. One blue color, and the other one include the green color. So we have sketched two possible triangles here: blue color and the green color. Okay. So this is the sketch. The next part: find the shortest distance between B and A C prime. So the shortest distance between B and AC prime is the perpendicular distance. The perpendicular distance, right? Perpendicular distance, and this is the perpendicular distance. So um, how are we going to find this perpendicular distance? I show you. Right. So area of this blue triangle, not not this one, not the green one, huh? the blue alone. Because here we found the blue one. This is not the green triangle. Uh, this is the blue triangle. So area of the blue triangle is half base times height. So this is the 
base is AC. AC. So half AC times the perpendicular height. Although this height BM is outside this blue triangle ABC, but we still take this height because uh, when we talk about the height of the triangle, we talk about the perpendicular height, which is perpendicular to the base AC here. So we still take this one. Okay, so area is half AC times BM. M is the, the point at the foot of the perpendicular. Okay, at the foot of perpendicular, it is not given. I just simply label it M, right? Hmm. So, AM, uh, sorry, BM equals to the area, 2 times the area, divided by AC. 2 area is, you find from here, substitute inside. AC, AC we have found here, 11.3, right? Then finally, you get the answer, BM is... 29.46 cm. Any question? Any question here? Okay. No, ah. Uh, so you please check the answer here. And ah, uh, no. Okay. If there's anything wrong, you just tell me so that I can make the necessary correction. Uh. Yes. Sir, sir is calculating the area of the triangle BAC. Area of B B A C prime. C, C prime. C prime. I cannot find. Not... C prime cannot find because we don't know the the length AC prime. We only know the length AC. So and also we only know the area of this ABC. We don't know the area of A, B, C prime. We don't know. So we cannot use the other triangle. Now, they just ask us to draw to test us whether we know the ambiguous case or not. And you, you remember the other day, I spent one lesson specially on this uh, ambiguous case. So this, this is how you draw the ambiguous case. So for that triangle B, A, C, we still use... Uh, to find the area, we still use the height BM. Uh, there are two ways of finding the blue triangle ABC. One is using this formula, half BC sine A, and the other is half base times height. But we don't know the height, so we cannot find the area using half base times height. We, although we know the base, but we don't know the height. So we have to resort to this formula, half BC sine A. Okay. So, sir, if, if we know the height of the BM, if yes. like the question already knows uh, the height of the BM is given, so uh. we can, to find the area of BAC, uh, 1 over 2 base times height, we must use the height BM. Yeah, it's easier, not must use. It's easier to use. If you know the height, then it's easier. You don't have to go through this, this formula, half BC sign A. Okay, sir, thank you. Any more questions? No, huh? no, then we, we stop here. Okay. Uh, any more questions? Oh, you have questions, you just post it to me on the wall or you become like a Hoshini, you just uh, WhatsApp me. Okay? So, no question. We end here.